Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. Did a little work off camera, not a whole lot this time. Um, went and got some congealed blue slime blocks from the... Uh, let's see, where was it? This island right here. So that island, I went and raided it. This is what I got from it. I also got a bucket of liquid blue slime, which I really don't know what to do with. So I'll probably just dump it somewhere. I don't really care too much about it, so we'll just dump it out here. That stuff will occasionally spawn slimes, but I'm not that concerned about it. I also did some mining. Got a decent amount of iron, more copper, more tin, found some more lapis, got some more certus, and more di- or I didn't get any more diamonds. But, one thing I did do is I upgraded this chest to a medium storage crate. And this one, because they were both starting to get really full. And this gives me a second page to work with. So that's nice. Now, what I want to do this episode is I want to get to work on making that empowered palace. takes a prismarine shard, a cobalt ingot, a blue slime crystal, and a raw fish. Well, I've got the fish. The slime crystal is going to be really easy to deal with. You, you, and you. Gets me some blue slimy mud. Which, tossed in here, gets me a blue slime crystal. Believe it or not, the prismarine won't be that difficult either. Because prismarine can be made by reconstructing nether quartz. This uses a decent amount of power though, so. And then I need nine of you and a cobalt ingot. So. Zap, that gets me my palace. That gets me a block of palace. And you. 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 And you. We'll start infusing and getting me my empowered palace. It's going to burn up a lot of power. This thing takes 8 million RF to make, so it's actually going to pretty much drain my entire capacitor. It's also going to take quite a while, so we'll leave that to work. Now, the reason why I needed that is I'm making the thermal centrifuge. Thermal centrifuge takes two of these coils, an electric motor, so two more of those coils, which means we may as well, because I know I don't have that many coils available. I actually don't have any cables, do I? Holy crap. So, yeah. We are going to go ahead and get this going in extruding mode. We're going to extrude an entire set of those. I need to worry about food. Pick up my rice, we'll make this into rice dough, and we'll cook this into some rice bread. I'm thinking about making some more broccoli seeds and planting them over there in the greenhouse and just letting it make broccoli for me. Because you can apparently make cooked broccoli. Which I imagine is probably like a super food source or something. But for right now, we'll just let that alone. Okay, that is still running. It's probably going to run for a little while. Uh, coils. 18. 24 should be enough. But I'm going to go ahead and let this continue running for a while.
As soon as I get my 24, we can go make the coils. Which, iron. Well, it's only three coils. I actually need more than that. Uh, the motor is tin item casings. I should still have a tin plate in here somewhere. Even if I don't have any item casings. I don't have any item casings. I do have the forge hammer and a tin plate, though. Iron with tin casings and coils gives me the motor. Uh, I need an advanced machine casing, so... You... Two of you... Two of you... Four of you. There's that. That gives me enough for my last coil. There we go. I'll need an iron plate. A couple of pieces of redstone. And we'll need six pieces of copper wire. This is going to make our electronic circuit. And you are still cooking up. Holy crap. Okay. <clears throat> Something else that I had going. In the macerator, I made some more diamond dust. Because we are going to need an energy crystal to make the mining laser. Which is energy and dust run through a compressor. I also went ahead and made some of these coal balls because I want to try and get that uh, circuit thing going this episode too if I possibly can. We'll just save this extra copper cable. I'm sure I will need it at some point. Okay, there's my energy crystal. We're going to need four advanced alloy plates. Two pieces of redstone. Oh, it's done. Empowered palace block. By the way, if you guys are hearing dead audio every once in a while, if you're not getting the background, it's because I'm keeping very close track now of exactly when I'm doing all of the coughing crap so that I can go back and mute it all in post. That, I mean, I've, I've noticed that I'm coughing enough that it's, it's disconcerting to me, and if it's bothering me, I know it's bothering some of you. So, the amount of coughing should be minimal. If, if, if it's just a minor, like, <clears throat> kind of throat clear, then I won't bother muting it. But when I feel it building up, I'm trying to get, like, a big cough out of the way, and then go back and post to mute it. So if you hear an occasional blank spot in the audio, that's why. Hopefully, it works out better for all of us. Uh, I need glowstone. I'm not sure if I've actually used glowstone for anything yet. There we go. One advanced circuit gives us the mining laser. Laser time! And combine that with a few more pieces of iron. And the thermal centrifuge. Now, thermal centrifuge. We need, uh, we needed that to get the stone dust. In order to get the stone dust, we have to centrifuge down. Well, we can just centrifuge down some cobblestone, can't we? That'll work. So we'll grab a stack of cobble. And I do need to find a place for this thing to live. Um, I'm not sure I like this because it's going to try to put 
dust in here. I don't think it's going to matter, though. We'll toss our cobblestone in there, and it's going to build up heat. And then it's going to start processing the cobble. Wow, this thing drains a lot of EU. <clears throat> this is a tier 2 machine. Oh well, I'm just going to let this process. It'll still continue running, it'll just run kind of slow. I may want to supplement this because it is going to slowly drain my power out, so I might want to get some coal in the generators. I'll keep an eye on it. I'm not going to let I'm not going to concern myself with it right now. Okay. So, that's going. That's going to get us the dust that we need to make the conduit binder. Cuz that's the end goal here. Conduit binder takes gravel, wood pulp, and CF powder. The wood pulp you can either get through a sag mill by running a tree through it, or you can run planks through it to get a 90% chance. I guess it's only a 90% chance there too. Or you can run it through a carpenter with a quarter bucket of water to get four for sure. Which is the method I'm going to use. We're going to put eight. We can clear this out. And let's get some buckets of water. I'm noticing I'm getting a little bit of lag with that thermal centrifuge running. This will keep me from having to run back and forth so much. Yeah, I might want to stop that thermal centrifuge. Let that process off camera. <coughs> How are we doing here? Four. Oh. Oh, wait, that's right. It only takes a quarter bucket. So, I made a lot more of this than I had to. We'll go ahead and drain it back out. Yeah, how am I doing with that thermal centrifuge? This is causing me some jitteriness. Four. How much do I need to make one thing of CF powder? Six. How much conduit binder does that make me? Eight, which makes me 16 conduit. Yeah. I need it to run for a while. That sucks. Oh, but I can get... <clears throat> okay. I can get it from stone separators. How do I make a stone separator? Power cubes, of course. Stone separator, though, I think is going to give me a better... Oh yeah, it uses calculator stones too. So, extraction chamber. Actually, I'll get some as a side effect of this extraction chamber, so that's awesome. Precision chamber takes fire diamonds, reinforced iron blocks. How do I make the fire diamonds? I need an atomic calculator. Which I can't make till age 10. Wow. Ouch. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be a while. But, for now... Algorithm separator? Ooh, for making redstone. This might be worthwhile. Ooh, and power diamantine, though. Screw that. And it takes two stone separators. Let's make the stone separator. So two power cubes, some reinforced stone, and some reinforced iron. That's not bad. Let's shut this thing down. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's much better already. 
Okay, building blocks. I need reinforced stone if I have any. I've got two. We'll need more than that, so let's grab some wood, some cobblestone, and my calculator. Once I figure out what the hell I did with it. There's my calculator. So, I'm just going to make... I seem to be using this stuff a lot, so I'm just going to make a shit ton of it. Four stacks. <clears throat> and... I need some reinforced iron. So, I'm going to make half stack of that. That's not going to be wasted, because I know I'm going to need it eventually. Got a little bit more there. And I know I'm going to need blocks of redstone for this. So let's do blocks of redstone. Uh, stone separator. <clears throat> Power cube. I'm going to need four of you, so I'm going to go ahead and make them. This will allow me to make the stone separator. And then circuits. How do I get these damaged circuits? What was it? The extraction chamber. Which is a power cube and weakened diamonds. Weakened diamonds are scientifically diamond divided by iron. So diamond divided by iron. No. Is it reinforced iron? Yeah, it's reinforced iron. That gives me the weakened diamond. And... Extraction chamber get. Let's grab some power and hook these two new items up. This is going to be another one of those things where I'm going to come back off camera and build rooms for these things. For right now, I just want to get them running. So. Process speed 1,000 ticks. Consumption 50. Okay. Process speed 200, consumption 25. That's not bad power usage at all. So, we'll put the stone separator there. We're going to attach the extraction chamber there. Oh, hi. Oh, that's a cool GUI. Or a cool display. Yoink. Yoink. Good. Alright. Stone separator. I know I'm going to need tons of this redstone crap. The stone separator is able to make... Come on. I didn't want two. But whatever. So, if we toss redstone in there, that should extract out Or wait. No, that's not right, is it? Sure recipes. Oh yeah, that's right, it takes ore. Frick. So I'm gonna need some ores to put through here. Well. That's not too bad. Basically, I just have to go get some iron. So, I'll do that off camera though. Er, wait. Yeah, I'll do that off camera. Um, the extraction chamber though. Let's feed you some cobble. And get you going. Because you're going to take, what did I say, 5,000 ticks? Oh yeah, that runs slow as balls. Okay, calculator. Do you have a wrench? Yes, a PA wrench. A reinforced sword and a reinforced pickaxe. Reinforced stone. Okay. 
Not too bad. Just need a couple sticks. There's the reinforced pickaxe. There's the reinforced sword. And calculating sword plus pickaxe equals PA wrench. Because... I remember that this thing... Oh, I got a circuit already! First shot! Damn, nice! Um, but this thing doesn't auto-output as far as I know. We can try hooking a hopper up to it and see if that'll drain it. But I don't believe it will. Nope. No such luck. So, I need to set a side to extract from. Because I don't think any method can take from it unless the side is set to extract. Um, let's try this transfer node. Nope. No dice. So, if I use this PA wrench to change that side to red, and then attach that, now it'll pull. Okay, good. Let's grab a chest, and let's grab a transfer pipe, and we'll put you there. Now, is this the same way? I'm assuming black is output. So, we'll attach you here, and that'll allow the circuit to come out here. We'll just toss the stone dust in there, too, because I'm not going to get to the conduits this episode, I don't think. Let's see. What next? Um, I would like to get a sag mill going on, but I don't think I have everything I need for the sag mill. Uh... What was that other thing that was going to allow me to make the redstone? Uh, atomic reconstructor, no. Atomic calculator, algorithm separator. Oh, that's right, that takes the empowered diamantine. That's why I didn't do that. Oh well. Um, but yeah, this will allow me to Start getting some circuits. And some small stones. Actually, I have enough that I can make one set of conduit binders. So let's do that. Conduit binder takes the CF powder. Which is sand, clay, and stone dust. So sand. One piece of clay. And the stone dust gives me that CF powder. Then here I need some gravel. Which, believe it or not, I'm actually very short on. That gives me eight binder composites. Which will give me... Oh, look how fast that processes. Gives me 16 conduit binder. Which is awesome. Because now I can make conduits. Fluid conduits. Pressurized fluid conduits. I can eventually make ender fluid conduits. Energy conduits. 640 RF tick. Nice. These are actually not that expensive. Uh, I can make redstone conduits. Emmy conduits eventually. Item conduits, though, are going to be big, because item conduits will allow me to get some basic automation going. But, that takes more ender pearls, and these things aren't growing very well, so I might have to do some enderman hunting off camera. Speaking of which, let's do something that will allow us to do a bit more efficient hunting of endermen. 
And let's answer a question real quick. Uh, where is my Ender Sword? This sword, can this be charged in the power cube? Yes, it can. Very slowly. Holy crap. I know there is an immersive engineering item, though. Ooh, you know what? That's what else we can do this episode. Because I just remembered, I now have the ability to make steel scaffold, or uh, steel machine blocks, the heavy machine blocks. Because these things take solarium. Which is just gold and soul sand smelted in an alloy smelter. Let's do something that's going to be big. This is going to be a big quality of life improvement for us. One piece of solarium. We're going to need some steel. Which, I've got 12 in here. Don't I have a lot more than that? I could have sworn I had a lot more steel than that. Nickel and platinum. How did I get nickel and... Or how did I get platinum? Powdered platinum? I guess from processing nickel I can get powdered platinum. That's awesome. Didn't realize I had that. Okay, steel. Steel, steel, steel. Need more steel. Which means I'm going to need more coal coke. Probably. Drop that in there. We'll go get some more coal coke processing. I really need to make another one or two of these. With conduits, I should be able to automate the process a little better. Okay. Because, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough to do what I want to do. What I want to do... is I want to make the metal press. The metal press takes two steel scaffolding, a heavy engineering block, a redstone engineering block, and a couple of conveyor belts and a piston. So, steel scaffolding. Three steel, and some steel rods. The steel rods, I can use the Lib Pulpies ones. So there's that. There's that steel scaffolding. I need heavy engineering blocks. <clears throat> which this is where it's gonna this is where I'm gonna hit the wall here. So I need steel mechanical components and I need steel. I need a total of twelve steel. I only have six. Dirt. Could have sworn I had more steel than this. Didn't I just make like several blocks of it? Oh well, whatever. We're getting started on it anyway. I do have some coal coke in here. Let's toss that in here to keep this running. <laughs> I might be able to get enough from this. Oh, I got another circuit. Awesome. This thing is already paying off. There's another piece of coal coke. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might go on a huge wood chopping trip and set up just like four, five, six of those things to make charcoal so that I can keep this thing running full time. 
because this is not working out well. I wonder, can I actually put wood through the alloy smelter to get charcoal? Or is that disabled too? That's disabled too. Okay. I figured it was, but it was worth a shot. What furnace is that? Oh, that's the extra utilities to furnace. Which I don't think you can even make. Because it's not giving me a crafting recipe. But yeah, I definitely need to get I need to get more coal coke, or I need to get crap tons of charcoal going. And I mean, coal coke is a great fuel source. I just wish that I could burn something other than coal coke and charcoal in here. Like, I really wish... Uh, let's see. Less from I really wish I could burn this purified coal. Because that would be awesome if I could burn the purified coal in there. This coal dust. I wonder if I can actually do that. That would be amazing. Damn. No such luck. can burn it in here, though. wonder if I can burn any of the coal byproducts. Like, I wonder if I combine... If I combine a piece of coal coke with the coal dust, can I burn the enriched coal? Well, easy way to tell that, I guess, would be to... Let's look at this and see if this is... Yeah, Blast Furnace Fuel. I wish I had an easy way to look up the Blast Furnace Fuel. But if I look at this, that doesn't have a listing for Blast Furnace Fuel. Neither does that. Neither does that. Neither does that. So that would be a no, more than likely. Another damage circuit. This thing is working wonders. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to need more coke ovens. One is not cutting it anymore. Not with the amount of steel I'm needing. I could set up a bunch of the industrial craft ones, but you have to fuel them. Or you have to fuel them with the air. And that's, that's a pain. Let's go ahead and grab a few pieces of copper while we're waiting, because we need to make two of those. Let's clean my inventory up a little, because i got a lot of stuff on me that I don't need. Put the Empowered Palace, and we'll put you away, we'll put you away. Uh, this extra coal stuff I'm going to toss in here and let that burn. See if we can recover some of our EU from this. We're freaking out of fuel again. Almost. Give it to me. Come on.
There we go. This blast furnace is almost done. And I would love to make this metal press on camera. I guess I can start on the other blocks. I need some conveyors. Which are just iron, redstone, and some rubber. Rubber's really easy. Redstone, a couple bits of iron. There's my conveyor belts. I need a piston. Do I already have any pistons made up? Doesn't look like it. Miscellaneous? No. I have wood. I just need redstone and iron. Which I have iron on me. Good. And some cobble. There's that. <clears throat> if I come up here, I should be able to get one more. Give it. Thank you. But yeah, I'm thinking about building a separate building to have the blast furnace in. And having, like, a bunch of coke ovens in there. Yes! Block of steel! Nice! That gets me you. Come on. Oh, heavy engineering block. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. I need two pistons for that? Shite. Okay. There is my heavy engineering blocks. I need redstone engineering blocks. Which is copper, iron, and redstone. Oh, hello, lag spike. There we go. And if we take a look at our immersive engineering manual, and we grab our forge hammer, whatever the hell I did with it. Not the cutters, forge hammer. It's two steel scaffolding with the engineering block there, and the heavy engineering block on top. So. We'll do it right here. For now. Scaffolding. Scaffolding. Redstone block. Piston. Heavy block. Conveyor. Conveyor. Clicky, 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 clicky. Why? What am I missing? <clears throat> okay. You, you, you. You, 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 you. Two steel scaffolding, one piston, two conveyor belts, one heavy engineering block. Is it because this is facing the wrong way? Yeah, it was. Okay, there we go. We have our metal press. Now, why is that such a big thing? Well, I'm going to need more steel to show you. <laughs> so, 
Off camera, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to record any more episodes tonight. I'm going to build a new building to house my improved blast furnace and build some more coke ovens in order to get all that cleaned up. That way it'll give me more room to maneuver in here. It'll give me more processing capability to handle the coal that I'm getting, to handle turning wood into charcoal, all that fun stuff. And then when I come back, we'll be able to do a whole bunch of stuff with this immersive engineering machine, which I might just move into the same area as... I, I might just move it into there and put it where the blast furnace currently is. I don't know. I'll figure out all this stuff off camera. Anyway, for right now, this has been Night Dagger with Age of Engineering. Don't know what episode it is. I'm having a horrible time keeping track of episode numbers, but hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I'll catch you later, peeps.